Germany has a constitutional court, which the UK doesn't. That was an, quite a an, uh, discussion recently that the UK should have that. But I'm in this episode of German Politics Explained, I want to talk about our constitutional court. So let's get started. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another episode of German Politics Explained. The German Constitutional Court is uh, at the same time a court and a constitutional body. It consists of two senates, each composed of eight judges. So we have 16 judges in the Constitutional Court. Um, the chairman of both senates are the president of the Constitutional Court and the vice president of the Constitutional Court. Each senate has its own defined responsibilities, so they don't work on the on, on same parts of the um, constitution, you could say. But every decision that's made by either senate always is a decision of the federal constitutional court. There are laws, um, let's call it federal constitutional act, that decides which senate is responsible for what topics. Because the constitutional court is also a constitutional body, it is not um, overviewed by any ministry. It is absolutely independent. They have their own budget and the president of the court manages the administration of the court. The tasks for the constitutional courts are based on our constitution. That's the Grundgesetz, the basic law, as the name would be translated to English. The Constitutional Court was founded in 1951 and in quite a young democracy because Germans weren't that used to a functioning democracy. It was um, quite effective and gave a lot of prestige to the young democracy as well. Every state agency has to um, comply with the basic law, with our Constitution. And if there is doubt that they do, the Constitutional Court can be called. And their judgment is incontestable. So what the Constitutional Court has ruled stands. And all other bodies of the state are bound by its jurisdiction. You often can see this when the Constitutional Court declares a law unconstitutional. We had this several times already. The court is a constitutional body, but it's not a political body. So its ruling has to be based on our constitution and the court determines um, the framework in which the political constitutional bodies can work. And because of our history, the limitation of state power is one of the most important facts in today's Germany. As I said, we have 16 members in the constitutional courts. Half of them are elected by the Bundestag and Bundesrat, that's our federal parliament and our federal council which consists of members of the federal states and the state governments. And in these elections, it requires a two-third majority. So a government that just has their majority cannot just um, name new constitutional judges because they will need the agreement of the opposition to do that. It's uh, not common in Germany to have a two-third majority in our parliament or in any state parliament as well. That was um, made this way so there will be a balance in the Senate and not one political party can put their people in there. The other thing is in each Senate at least three of the members have to come from the highest German courts, a Federal Court of Justice, Federal Administrative Court, Federal Finance Court, Federal and Labor Court, and so on and so on. So they have to have this experience in the highest courts already before they can go there. Other members can be from, from law firms and whatever the um, parliaments seem fit to vote into there. Everybody who is eligible to be a judge and who has reached the age of 40 can become a constitutional court judge. You remember perhaps the age of 40, that's not the only place where this uh, applies. The German president has a minimum age of 40 as well. The judges are elected for 12 years. Age limit is 68. And there's one important point 
to ensure their independence. A re-election of a federal constitutional court judge is not possible. I hope I could give you a little insight into another part of German politics. Politics in this case is a guard over the politicians. But I hope I could give you a little bit more clarity about the function of our constitutional courts and the setup because it's in, in Germany this is really an important constitutional body um, which did a great job since it uh, came to existence in 1951. A lot of important matters could be cleared there and um, most Germans are really happy to have this constitutional court. For now I just want to thank you for watching again. If you haven't done so please subscribe to my channel Soon there will be another episode of German Politics Explained. I hope you're going to watch it. For now, I just wish you a good day and see you soon.